Shalom, shalom. Allah, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakadash. Shalom to the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel. My name is Brother Daniel Allah from the province of Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work of truth and sincerity. Also, Brakadah to the Akwa who are listening as well. So I came across a post on Instagram. So I'm gonna do this quick hit right here. It says India will be using rupees rather than US dollars for future international trade. India will be using rupees rather than US dollars for future international trade. Call Dash man. All these countries are ditching the U.S. dollar. Everybody's turning against Babylon the Great. Before our eyes on a daily basis. This is so beautiful, man. This is so beautiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful to be alive to witness a kingdom falling before your eyes. So India is using their own currency against the U.S. dollar. All right, this is great news. This is good news, and this is uh, one of the countries that's a part of the movement called BRICS. All right, that was originated in 2001. So this is the movement against that's against America right now. So we're witnessing BRICS turning against America and. Anything that has to do with America. So I want to read the the caption that this person put. So it says India is currently offering to conduct their international trade using rupees as they move away from the US dollar. This move comes off the act of a decision by the Reserve Bank of India in July of last year to allow settlement of international trade in Indian rupee. This offered trade in rupees is extended to all countries currently experiencing a shortage of U.S. dollars. India believes this move will contribute to a reduction in demand for the U.S. dollar strengthen value of the rupee so all these countries you know including India is turning against the US dollar the US dollar is useless it's not backed up by the gold standard it's not backed up by the silver standard and is now it's and now it's not even backed up by oil it's backed up by completely nothing right now so people are working for something that's that's uh that's obsolete at the moment and plus the US debt is is completely is completely uh skyrocketed in the past few years so India is using their own currency right now which which country is next that's willing to get rid of the US dollar. So we're witnessing America, which used to be the hammer, and now it's no longer the hammer. Now it's becoming vulnerable. And, and, and now the next move is to what? To move to digital currency, probably within 2023 or 2024. And we're going to witness the worst economic collapse in history. Okay? We're going to witness the worst economic collapse in history. Worse than the Great Depression in the early 20th century. All right? And you should know something about the, um, the Great Depression when you were in school. It was bad. It was really bad. And then when the... Uh, 
when the uh, s- stock market, you know, Wall Street crashed, you know, you know, uh, all the rich people bought all the stocks, um, you know, with, with uh, like by pennies, you know, and people were struggling during a during a serious famine, which is uh, like the lack of bread. So how much more in these last days? How much more in these last days, man? When there's a lack of bread, when no one's able to work, when no one's um, when no one's not able to uh, afford groceries for their household. No more benefits. No more Section Eight. No more food stamps. No more Social Security. That's why you need. To seek after the Lord now. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. According to Isaiah 55 and 6. And Isaiah 33 and 6. And for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So. And for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability that will be your stability in these last days that will be your stability not food not water not the house over your head but the wisdom and knowledge of the holy scriptures of the pure doctrine will be your stability nothing else if you don't have the lord on your side in these last days you know you're going to be like everyone else in this world by losing their mind. All right. So all these countries are going to what? Ditch the U.S. dollar right before your eyes. Okay. So continue to look at more of these uh, posts and news outlets and, you know, podcasts. YouTube videos, etc. You know, continue to look out. A lot more people are going to avoid the U.S. dollar, to avoid America's uh, uh, unrighteous decrees. I hope this class was edifying to you. Let call Allah Yahweh, Bashim Hashem, Bashim Kakadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.